who probably make more money on YouTube than the guys competing. So that could take your hunger away because if you go to a show and go, look, I've just got to turn up and look good. I don't really care about winning. Winning would be good, but as long as I can go into a show and look great, I don't really have a supplement contract. Most of my money I make from the internet. So that, I don't think they have that drive and passion yep. like we had back then where you had to... Oh, don't you hate these places too? Especially nothing worse when you see these cunts that you can't stand. <laughs> and have. Oh, hi, Sean. <laughs> So we had a laugh. I took the picture, I posted it saying, we're in love. Another person I saw you uh, caught up with while you were over there was uh, Sean Ray. Yes, got a picture <laughs> with Sean. He come by. I was joking around. I saw him coming. I was talking to the camera. Oh, don't you hate these places too? It's especially nothing worse when you see these cunts that you can't stand. And have. <laughs> oh, hi, Sean. <laughs> so we had a laugh. I took the picture, I posted it saying... We're in love. So the the beef's over, or the beef was never well, there? I never really had a beef. It was more just in fun. He would say stuff about me, so I'd just make comments back. Yeah. But I never really hated him. I've always respected him as a bodybuilder, but yeah, he can rub you the wrong way sometimes, but I'm sure I rub people the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's always just in fun, just for the internet, and people go, oh, look at them arguing, but no, we get on good. And did you ever talk to him? Yeah, quickly. Yeah. He, was in a rush. he was going somewhere, but we had a quick little chat, yeah. Yeah, he's looking good. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, I said, there's no beef. It's just more of a internet beef, just uh, so people like watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it is for younger people, but you're really seeing now how, you know, you guys, Sean Ray, mm -hmm. Flex Wheeler and mm -hmm. all those... You're, you're almost timeless as far as the next generation are, are nowhere near as... Mm -hmm. um, well, like I said, even Dennis James is still looking good. He yeah. does his podcast and he was there. And you know, There's a few around that are around in my day that are still going. And But it doesn't seem like the, the young, the new generation, just because I think bodybuilding is not the same. No, it's not the same. It's like you have people who are around now and you hear of them forever. It's almost like in the music industry. Yeah. You know, the Rod Stewart, you know, the ones that were yeah. the hardcore, whatever, back in the day, and they're still there. You'd have, what's his name? Keith Richards is still around with the Rolling Stones. Yeah. You still have, what's his, who's, what's his name's coming to Australia? Is it Engelbert Humperdick or? No, I've got no idea. Tom, Tom Jones, I think, is coming yeah. to the Pacific Theatre in Newcastle. I'm like, I wouldn't mind going to see him because yeah. he's been around so long. But you have these people who have done the hard work. They had to play at the shitty bars yeah. and clubs to become famous. And after, what, 50, 60 years, they're still there. Whereas you have people, you know, these people that come along now, whether it be on The Voice or whatever, they'll have a couple of hit songs and then as soon as they're gone, maybe five years later, you don't hear of them anymore. They're like, oh, famous for a little while. Yeah. And then they just disappear. Whereas I think it's the same in bodybuilding. There's a lot of bodybuilders who have come and gone since I've been retired and you never hear of them again. Yeah. Whereas I'm still around and Flex is still around. There's people who are still around that who did the hard work, didn't have the internet, but we made it and we're still there today. So it's got to say something, doesn't it? I just think it was... I think it was a whole different mindset, different attitude. I think people say, why do we do more shows or we look different? I think too, because back then, we're all hungry and, you know, to get on a magazine cover yeah. you had to be good or had to be popular to get a contract you had to be placing in the top three of shows yeah. or top five and be consistent so every time you went to a contest it was like fuck how i look depends on contracts i can get how long they're going to keep me if they increase my money yep magazine contracts and being paid for photo shoots ended up happening so everything rode on that so now you have people who probably make more money on YouTube than the guys competing. So that could take your hunger away because if you go to a show and go, look, I've just got to turn up and look good. Mm. I don't really care about winning. Winning would be good, but hey, as long as I can go into a show and look great, I don't really have a supplement contract. Most of my money I make from the internet. So I don't think they have that drive and passion yep. like we had back then where you had to, like I said, come... September when you had the Olympia coming up most contracts were ended in October November so you knew that how you look and how you do could be depending on whether you get that next check when your contract runs out whether they say hey you look great we're going to resign you or oh, you know you haven't been looking good so we're not going to resign you and you're like fuck I've got no money coming in so 
I think these days there's so many avenues where people are making money from not competing or not not worrying about it. That's why, like I said, they don't do as many shows. They're not really into it like we were. So we knew every time we went out, like I said, everything was on the line. Photo shoots. Yeah. Covers a magazine. You know, go on the cover of a magazine. It was like, oh, my God, I've made it. You'd go to the news agent and go, oh, look, there's my picture. You'd put all your magazines up the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, like, incredible. Now it's just like, eh, no one cares. So I think that drive and hunger has gone like it used to be when I was competing. Yeah. I'm sure there still are some, you know, Nick and them who want to be Mr. Olympia. But I think overall, I think it's died off a lot. That's why you don't see as many guys doing that many shows, why you don't yeah. see the conditioning that you used to see. Because if you come in like that, you probably wouldn't have got the cover of a magazine or you wouldn't have been doing all these interviews for the magazines or you wouldn't have been on a supplement contract. They'd be like, eh, you look a bit lazy, mate. You're not really yeah. representing the brand well, so we're going to let you go. So. Yeah, I just think if you look now, like when I started the business, there was hardly any powerlifting. Mm-hmm. Now powerlifting is is so popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you love lifting, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Because I used to always joke around saying I should have done powerlifting because I love eating. I'd, be, I'd much yeah, rather stay, yeah, 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 much yeah. rather stay at two eighty five yeah, yeah. and squat eight hundred or do whatever. No dieting. I just got to be big and bulky and go in and do bench and squat and shit. So that would have been fun. Yeah. No. Um. I just think it's it's. For whatever reason, it's lost, it, or you know, it's just been diluted. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember when I first started training. Well, in the gyms, you'd have the photos of, you know, your Sean Rays and mm-hmm. all those. All the uh, posters on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Whereas and sometimes you just stand, and look at them, and go like, "Fuck, how does anyone look like that?" Yeah, I remember I used to yeah. look at Dorian's picture and stuff, and Tom Platt's legs. You'd be like, even though I'm into it training, I'm looking at them thinking. That doesn't even look real. How yeah, the fuck yeah. Do you get muscles that big. I remember looking at Eddie Robinson's arms or Arnold's arms, and I'd be like, "My God, my arms will never look like that." And then to be put in the magazine of having the best arms ever when they had that thing, and Phil Heath was second, and Arnold was third. I was voted on by bodybuilders yep. and past Mr. Olympias. They said overall that was like bicep, tricep, forearm. Yes, there's some guys that might have a bigger bicep than mine, but this was like the complete arm. I got voted the best, and people still to this day talk about my arms. I would never have thought that when I was looking at these posters that there were probably people looking at me going, fuck, look at Lee Priest's arms. That's incredible, you know. We love to have arms like Lee, which they say, but I'm like, see, I still don't see that today. I just look at my arm and go, huh, look yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> The bad one looks shit, this one looks shit. But yet people look at them. Even when I was at the Olympia, I'm, I mean, the Arnold, getting photos, people like, fuck, look at you. You still look big and your fucking arms and your forearms still look incredible. I'm just like, huh. Uh, I'm just used to maybe I'm used to looking at them. Yeah, look, yeah, they look yeah, crap to yeah, me, yeah. so I'm just like, oh. but people are still impressed. So I'm like, oh, must be okay then. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's um, uh, it's just so hard these days, I guess, to to stand out mm-hmm. as and I a think sport. Too, with it helps sometimes because because I live here and people don't see me that often. You take photos, you can look different angles, but I never tried out angle, I just stand right in, in line with some people, like, oh, you're trying that angle, and they're like, I'm standing in the exact same line as you are, and I think sometimes when people see you, it isn't too like I get a photo taken with someone who's current, they go, fuck, Lee still looks pretty good standing, you know, this guy's still competing, and this guy has great arms, but look at Lee, he hasn't competed since 2013, and he's 52 almost now, but fuck, look at his size to this guy who's still current, so... I think when people see you, they go, oh, fuck, it's still not that bad. <laughs> well, that actually... Um, Why did someone say I'm shit? <laughs> uh, no, we're we're going we're gonna to get to them. 